taken. All right, Lisa, where are we? So I practiced. We're at Bear Tooth Pass in Montana. Awesome. <laughs> what city are we near? Oh, uh, Red Lodge. Red Lodge. Thank Got you. it. Yeah. Red Lodge. So we are about eight miles south of Red Lodge. There is this turnout here right before this sign that says Custer National Forest Beartooth Scenic Byway. And we pulled out here, we set up our bike, and we're going to ride to the top. What's our elevation right now? Can you tell? Oh yeah, I can. It is 6444. 6444, and we are going to climb up to 10,906 feet, something like that. So 6444? 6444. But I've heard it's a 5,000 foot climb. In okay. fact, I saw that on Strava. I checked some of the Strava reports, and I heard it's 5,000 feet climbing from here. So we must have a little bit of down and then up yep, somewhere. Good. So this is the parking lot here, and uh, there's a campground across the street here, but we're going to find just a little further down this road tonight we're gonna go find some dispersed camping in the National Forest that's off to the right side so anyway you excited to go Lisa I'm really excited I'm kind of all shaking. right kind of shaking <laughs> we've been on a big ride like this for a while all right Lisa so are you ready to go yeah we're ready to go okay tandem travels away tandem travels away <laughs> climbing up the bear tooth pass Always a headwind. Always a headwind. And Copvint. <laughs> we have a decent shoulder so far. We'll see how that lasts. But it's already starting to be pretty. And we're getting off at 11.10 this morning, which is not exactly the crack of dawn. No. But it is June 12th. So we're almost to the longest day of the year right now. So we've got more time in the day than usual to do this. So we're good to go. So we left town yesterday about one o'clock, found a place to camp just off the side of the road on a side road, threw up our tent quickly in the back of the truck and it worked like a dream. And then we drove here and now we've got 25 miles and 5,000 feet of climbing to get to the top of the pass. We also have a flasher on our pannier and we have fluorescent jerseys. We also loaded one pannier with warm gear because the elevation we're going to, an extra bottle of water. So I think we're more than prepared. Looks like we go up there to the left and around that side wall of the canyon. These gates are at five miles up the canyon. We've now climbed almost a thousand feet. We're at 7,315 feet. Glacial Valley, right, Lisa? Is it shaped like a U, so it's formed by a glacier and not by a river? I think we're headed up there. I see the switchbacks. <laughs> what is this, Lisa? Fernande! Ora, Clara. Hi. Or a switchback. Number one. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Whoa. Look where we're going up there. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Woohoo. Whoa. <laughs> okay. There. One, you can see them all. One, two, two three. Oh, my God. Very top. Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> now we got nice tailwind. Lisa and I believe in enjoying the tailwinds of life because the tailwinds don't come often enough. Take them when you get them. Right, Lisa? How are you doing, Lisa? I'm doing great. This is amazing. It's crazy cool. Crazy cool. <laughs> Love we've, it. We've been waved at now four times. <laughs> They're cheering us on. Bringing it today from the crowd. Bringing it today. We need it. Yep. <laughs> it's awesome. There's some kids right there. They've been snowboarding. How was it? Awesome. 
<laughs> Where we came from? So we're going right up there. And then we need a road up there. <laughs> But then we're going over the top. Right there. Hello. Arisa. Hello. Having fun? You could point at me. She's right. <laughs> there. Hi, Lisa. Hi. I think I got. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. They brought us right here. Hi, Lisa. You having fun? Yep. So we just crossed over an elevation of 10,000 feet. We're 15.7 miles in. All right, we start to put on our arm warmers and our jackets. Split a pop tart. Now we're ready to go, aren't we, Lisa? Yes. Woo! We almost had a gust of wind there while we were standing oh, my here. Stars. It almost blew us over. We're like, um, okay, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. ridiculous. But uh, I really should be facing that way. No matter what you do, you can't get your heart rate under 170 for me. Under 160 for Lisa. It's pegged up high. Up this hill, down to that saddle. Up those switchbacks, and we're there. Yeah. Oh, okay. What are we gonna do? Wow, it's There we go. Here it comes. Up. Down. Up. Whee! <laughs> that is so cool. Those are the Wind River Mountains. Yes. We didn't bring our bear spray, but hopefully we're going to be all right. So, we went down from the ski resort, lost maybe 350 feet. Now we're 10, 5, 50 or so. Headed back up to 10, 9, which we were really close to before. Oh, all the sheep, oh sheep. My oh my gosh, there are, there are 20 or, 20 years, more of them. Like 
Pisa. Uh, it's worth it for sure. yes. There's our statistics. There we go. You guys are great. I know. <laughs> I'm starting to think so. <laughs> uh, we are pretty crazy, aren't we, Lisa? Yeah, pretty crazy. <laughs> We're the only cyclists we've seen up here today. Oh, no, I haven't seen you. Not a single other bicycle. No, no. This is supposed to be like a really popular cycling road, but I think people are still skiing okay. and not biking. Yeah. We're gonna go down the hill a little bit just to see what it's like. Look at this sweeping switchback. Oh my gosh. This is so glorious. I didn't know this was in the United States of America. It's just so beautiful. Lisa, did you have fun? Oh yeah, this is, I, I had no idea this was here. And it's stunning. Stunning. Love it. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Whoa. I would recommend this ride A plus, do it. Yeah. Do it. Maybe get started in the morning so it's not so windy. Yeah. But glorious. Uh, Top of the Bear Tooth Pass. Give it a smile with the camera. <laughs> Woo. And now, we go downhill. Very nice. All right, so the ski lift is closed. And now, 522, we are headed down. And it is what it is. It's here every day. You think it's just here for us today. But this is here every day. Oh, there we go. while she's falling like a baby because this is so beautiful. I cannot take enough pictures. I don't know how I'm going to edit this video to show how amazing this is. Lisa. So glorious. Wow. I love it. Coming into the finish line. Yeah, we did. We made it back. Oh, what a day. Yowza. That was just... All right, I don't think we really have no. anything more to say. No, no. I think our tear fest on that one stop was enough. That there's nothing else to say. That was this just beyond must words. Do. This is a must do. And even if you feel like you can't do the climbing, 
You should at least drive over. Yeah. It's stunning. E-bike. E-bike, whatever. Anything beautiful, but I, but nothing is nothing is but like the experience of riding it on your bicycle. Like riding it on a all bike. the effort it takes to get up there, the payoff, the emotional investment that you make yeah. in making a climb like this, and you know today was with the headwinds was particularly oh, tough. It was yes. a tough, it was a tough day. Really, really. We tough. said to ourselves at one point that if we just keep going five miles an hour, we'll be at the top in five hours, <laughs> and 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 that's okay. You just keep going and pretty soon you're at the top and it's amazing and it the payoff coming down was that was a glorious words. descent it was so beautiful so Take it.